Okay. Hi guys! My name's Jade. Welcome to my channel. This is my first YouTube video. This is Teddy. Say hi, Teddy. Okay. Good job. Um, so today we're going to be going over lounge fly bags. I just kind of got a little collection going. Um, the most recent one that I've purchased today is this one. And I think it's really cute. I think that you should definitely purchase this. You need it for Halloween. I mean, just look at it. Look at Mickey's face. I don't know if it's focusing. The camera's focusing. There you go. When I saw this pumpkin at the actual Disney parks, I thought it was really cute. So when they turned into a bag, I had to get it. Features his little face right here, and then it's got like this little zipper under here. Okay, I literally just zipped it closed. Let's zip it open. So you can like, mm, you could probably fit, let me see if my phone will fit in here. And this part might be like tricky. It's a little tight. Let me see. So I have the iPhone 10, so let's see if it fits. Oh. So I was able to fit my phone in there, so that's a good thing. And then the inside has, like, I don't know, can you, it's focusing. Come on, focus. Um, Alright, well you can't see it, but it has like little Mickey pumpkin, just like little Halloween candies as the lighting. And it's really cute. Definitely a good purchase. Super cute. This bag will also be great with fall. It doesn't just have to be for Halloween. It could be for like Thanksgiving. You know, just those colder autumn months. And I mean, heck, you can even wear this during summertime. You can wear it all year round if you want to. The next bag I have is of course the Road School. When this came out, everybody had this bag. I mean, everybody. And I'm surprised that I didn't just get this until this year, which is crazy considering I love her. Really cute. She's got a front pocket just like the other ones. There's styrofoam in there because I literally just got this one too. And then it's got the little side so you can, again, let's see, you can fit your phone, which I kind of feel like this might not fit. Okay, I got stuff in here. Hang on. I'm here to I'm always losing them and now I know why. And let's see if it's going to fit. Okay, so it doesn't... All right, it barely fits. This is not a good idea. Don't put your phone there. You'll drop it. It'll probably fit in the front pocket. I'm almost sure of it. Um, yeah, this one's cute. The face is a little different from the Millennial Pink, and I'll show you in just a bit. We'll do a comparison in just a second. But, side. I'm just hoping this will come up on camera, too. Um, so it's like pink with some white polka dots, and then there's a little pocket here for your phone. Most of these bags have the same little pocket inside, which is nice, you know, you get what you pay for. Um, the straps are comfortable, they're padded. I like lounge flights bags, they make good quality bags. And I mean, they're not like designer prices, so. Really cute. See, so you got the matching ears to go with. The Millennial Pink. This one is definitely my favorite. I love this one. I remember when it first came out, I rushed down to Downtown Disney to get it. And they were sold out within like that first week. And I don't know about you, but I'm very impatient. I don't know about you guys, I couldn't wait, so I ordered this online. And yes, I did pay more than the retail price. Which, looking back now, was silly. I should have just waited. But when I want something, I want something. So, the face is a little different. The ears are right here, which is cute. Bring it up to camera if you guys can see it. Now, this one doesn't catch the light quite like the other one. It's more subtle. I like that. Most of your clothes are pink, like me. Then this will go with just about everything. What do I have in the pockets? It's like a what's in my bag. Oh, lip gloss. So now I know why I'm always losing my lip glosses. This is MAC, by the way. If you guys saw the, what was it, Cherry Blossom collection? Yeah, I had to buy most of the stuff from that. I love that collection when it came out. Um, um, let's get back to the bag. So the inside, I have like little bows, and you know what? This one doesn't have that extra pocket like the rose gold one does, which is kind of like a little disappointing, but 
I don't know why they excluded that, because that little pocket's nice, you know, to keep other stuff in, but whatever. Still doesn't take away from the bag. It's still super cute. Little pocket on the side, again, your phone will, unless you have a smaller phone, it will probably not fit there. Again, padding on the straps. Yeah, I am a fan of the Millennial Pink. And I don't have the, I have matching ears, but I got them from Claire's. They were like way less than the ones in the park, so. Don't always like to pay full price for Disney stuff. No offense, Disney. And next bag, next lounge buy bag I have is Minnie Mouse. It's pretty cute, right? This bag reminds me of the 50s. It's so cute. I probably get the most compliments on this bag. Um, you can fit a lot. It's pretty good size. Uh, the square shape did kind of throw me off a little bit, but I mean, it's okay against your body. It's got a little classic Minnie Mouse on the side here and the bow in the front. And what I like to do with this bag is I prefer to wear it without the body strap. I just think it looks a little cuter that way. Let me show you guys. So you can just hold the handles like this and you look like you're from the 50s or 60s, I don't know. Retro. And um, I got a lot of stuff in these bags. It's inside my bags. I carry my makeup and like lip gloss and stuff inside like little Ziploc baggies. Yeah, I know it's like extra, but I don't like to get my stuff dirty. And makeup bags I feel like kind of bulky sometimes to carry around in your purse and heavy, so I just use Ziploc baggies. Little trick or tip you can use. Uh, sunglasses, literally. This just turned into what's in my bag. <laughs> um, now that's all cleared out from those part, I can show you the inside. And it's like, just like polka dots, and there's like a little pocket here. Yeah, two pockets actually, so that's not bad. And I think, I got this on sale online, I think I paid from a second hand. I paid, was it Macari? I can't remember. Or Craigslist, no, not Craigslist. That is a good place to look for bags though sometimes. You want to, if you don't want to pay full price. Because I know they're not designer prices, but it kind of gets expensive when you're paying like 80 or 90 dollars a bag. But I paid like 60 for this one. And because I don't think they still it might still be on the Disney website. You know what? I will check and I will link down below how much it is in the description. I would recommend getting from this collection. They have a backpack too. And I know it's clear, a lot of people don't like this because it's clear, because they worry about like what they put inside it, who cares? I mean, you can put, so with this one in particular, it comes with like this little, what is that, like a makeup bag or a coin purse? It has Mickey embroidered on the front. And then look, you guys, look at the um, chain. It's, what is that, like a luminescent rainbow, what is it, holographic, yeah. It's really cute. Hang on, let's see what I have in here. Now, I was looking for this. Again, more lipstick. And some change. Do you guys use Gerard Cosmetics? My favorite shade is Rodeo Drive, and I absolutely love that shade. I use it up. It's probably like my second bullet. Highly recommend. Anyway, back to the bag. This bag definitely reminds me of my childhood, 90s, very retro, and yeah, I really like it, it's super cute. And I'll link the description for that bag as well, and I think that one is like 90, don't quote me on that one, I have to check the pricing, it's like 90 or 100, something like that. It's plastic, so I do think that's a bit much. I would wait for it to either go on sale or get it second. My next one is my Safari Mickey backpack. Now, I love this backpack. I know some people might be skeptical because of the size. It is kind of an awkward size, and also again, it's another square bag, and square bags don't really look the best against, you know, against our bodies, but I mean, it's a nice contrast. I don't mind that, honestly. And I think this is super cute. Actually, this is a box lunch exclusive. 
and I can't remember how much I paid for this. <laughs> I have to check, but I know that I went on the website and I saw that it was on like sale, 20% I think, and they actually honored it at the Box Lunch store when I went to go pick it up. So just keep that in mind. If you find something cheaper on Box Lunch website, if you show them at the store and the item's there, they'll honor it. So this is him. It's a boy. And he's really cute. You can see there's like little ears in the top. It's like a leather. I don't think, obviously it's not real leather. Um, it's just really cute. And then we've got Mickey and Pluto embroidered and stitched on the front. And then this is like suede with like leather background, like supposed to be like safari. Can you see? Is it coming up on camera? Yeah. This is really cute, guys. And then it has the straps on the back. Um, the straps are a little bit cheap in my opinion. I do wish they would have used like similar to the same kind of leather as the bag itself. It's a different kind of leather and it's just not, I guess I have um, high standards when it comes to my bags, but this is okay. It's not bad. And then it has like a brass hardware. It's cute. It reminds me of Adventureland and that's my favorite land in the park. Huge fan of Indiana Jones. It's my favorite ride. And, oh, okay, so I didn't look inside the bag previously, but apparently I have a shirt from Barcelona. Um, my friend Juan gave this to me. <laughs> so, uh, I guess I forgot it was in there. That's nice. And then I've got, so the inside is like zebra, which is cool. Going with the safari print. Um, there's a pocket right here. I don't know if you guys can see. Okay, so here's the pocket. And then there's actually a lot of space down here. There's two pockets, too. There's one on the other side as well. And it's pretty roomy. You can fit a lot of stuff in here. Lipstick or lip gloss. I was looking for this one, too. I'm finding all my makeup, you guys. Oh, here we go. I have a little wallet. It's This is from another uh, box, box Lunch exclusive line, but this was their Winnie the Pooh collection. But I mean, I like it. It goes with the bag, so. It's like poo floating on the little bag. What is it? Oh, it's playing a trumpet. And there's like little honeybees. Right there. I don't know if it's coming up. Okay. And then, let's see what else. I know I've got more. And then, we've got this one. So this is like, this is an actual backpack. <laughs> you can literally fit everything in here. This is something that you would bring to the park if you're going to be there all day. And it's great for people with kids. Can you put diapers in here? <laughs> um, I like this print. It has the Little Mermaid. And it kind of like looks like a cartoon or like a comic strip. That's why I thought it was really cool. I don't know if, you can, if it's coming up. I swear this thing's not focusing at all. I'll try to move um, I don't know if you guys can see, but it just has like Ariel and Prince Eric all over the bag. Flounder's there too. It's really cute on the straps as well and this is another lounge fly bag of course um, and it has a little pocket here in the front so you can keep stuff in here and then it's got a separating pocket in the back a really big one actually which is good for like you know jacket or extra pair of socks splash out uh, so yeah this is a this is a cute bag and I'm not sure the price on that one again I'll check it like in the description box below. <laughs> okay, this is the last one. This is not a lounge fly bag, but I just wanted to show it because I thought it was really cool. I don't know if you guys know about Duffy. Um, he's pretty big in Japan. He's like their version of Mickey. Um, basically, Duffy is Mickey's teddy bear. And there's also, he also has a girlfriend and her name is Shelly May. I personally am more of a fan of Duffy. Uh, I ordered this off of eBay. And it's from Tokyo Disney. And look how cute. So, one awesome thing about this bag is you can wear it, I think it's three different ways. So you can either wear him as a backpack. Like, um, okay, I'm not gonna try to show you because I feel like I'm gonna, oh no, it's already set up. So see, let me show you guys. So, you can wear him as a backpack or a crossbody, or 
you can just wear him like a regular bag on your shoulder. So those were all my bags. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.